is just the this reveal love. and first look at all right here we go Enjoy. it's time it's fucking time let's do this shit my level of hype is all over the place i'm ready i am uh scared and ready and also scared but here we go crash four Bring hey guys, it. it's Jeff Keeley. Welcome to Summer Game Fest. We've got a great show kicking off this week for you. Uh, I'm really excited to be doing a yet another week of video game announcements. And one of the things... What? What is that sound ah. outside? <laughs> I've got an extra special package for... Yes. <laughs> I love this crash. At least he's showing social distancing, which is cool. I love Geo, that. Fef, keg legs. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Jeff Keeley, <laughs> come on out. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a live stream right now. Yeah, right. This guy always crashing my important shows. I'm gonna see what this is, but let me tell you, it better be worth it. <laughs> Crash, I really don't want the dirt that you have on Cortex. <laughs> oh, no, no. This is the Crash 4 trailer. For real? For reals. <laughs> For real. It's about time. Exactly. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, I love this. You banished me to the past. But all it did was give me more time to plan your doom. Whoa. Whoa, what the hell is happening? Okay, I like it. The jetpack stages are back. The... Invert. Whoa! What is ha what is happening right now? Look at these. Oh, God, this looks so good. <laughs> oh, you can play as Cortex too. Okay. There's Coco. We saw. I. Uh... I saw she was going to be playable. Oh, this world. Engine's back. Dude. This looks awesome. I don't know what's happening, but I love every second of it. It's about whomping time. Yeah, it is. Pre-order now comes out October 2nd of this year. How many times have you beaten this clown anyway? Three. Really? Only three? <laughs> Funny. Seemed like more. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. There's Screw the, the rest of the canon, canon right? Crash for <laughs> a brand new Crash game. It is coming this October. And right now I am joined by Paul from Toys for Bob to tell us about the brand new Crash game. Paul, uh, oh, we so have been good. waiting for so long for something new from Crash. Of course, Activision has done some amazing remasters of the uh, Crash angles Trilogy that doing and for this. CTR, but this is a, a brand new so Crash cool. game built from the ground up. That's right. It's, uh, it's hard to believe, but it's been over 10 years Whoa. since we've seen an original new entry into the series, so I'm... It's so cinematic to, too. Uh, it's not, not just secret that we've been sitting uh, time stop. While. Oh, okay, okay. So you get a lot more powers about time. And in this a, game. You it's get a play like... on the fact that we've been waiting for so long, but also it's a game that's literally mm. about time. Yeah, I, I want to get into it because the trailer is is filled with so much information. I mean, you know, playable Neo Cortex, Coco, Crash. But I'm curious, like what you know, you guys had worked on, you know, the 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 remasters of Crash, but now to start with a new game there's i'm sure so much trepidation about like what's going to be a worthy you know follow on calling it crash 4 how oh. did you guys approach this like what kind of game did you want to build yeah i i guess the first thing is we asked ourselves where did we want to start and though technically this is the eighth game in this series um all of the fan reception that was coming out of the insane trilogy oh, um, yeah we wanted to go back to the original trilogy and start from that. We're deliberately calling this Crash 4 because we want to key it off of the original trilogy that was developed by Naughty Dog. And that was certainly a high point in the series, both critically and commercially. Yeah. And so that's where the events are going to key off of. We're taking, we're starting right at the end of that when Dr. So Neocortex, it's a, Entropy... So it's a direct sequel to Uber Crash Uber 3, ignoring to all the and other games that happened. 
So that's going to make it a lot many, many more interesting because found a way you have so much cannon now, or cannon, doing so, that's not going to be a part of this game now. So it's going to make it a lot more interesting and expose because there's a lot more ideas universe. you can work with. So it's going to be up to the Bandicoots, Crash, and Coco to restore that order by reuniting the four great quantum masks. Quantum the gameplay mask. style, I think you know, a lot of people were probably wondering, hey, Crash in 2020, how much of it hmm. is, you know, the more linear, um, you know, classic Crash levels. And of course now, like, people wonder, like, it's an open world Crash game. How are you doing it? Like, tell us about balancing kind of the, the old style of gameplay, nice. which is certainly not broken. We love it versus the tendency to do, you know, new it's styles not, of gameplay. Oh. Based on the trailer, it looks like you're being kind <laughs> of still faithful And of course the death animations are back the because style of Crash you need to have those. Big, you know, pretty open world, but... Is that correct? Like, how did you approach the actual style oh, of the game? That's amazing. Yeah, that's this. absolutely right. Um, I think what we've heard was that people have found that style of gameplay to be really refreshing. Oh, and the to, difficulty. Uh, to. And so we wanted to key off It's going to make it a lot like... When we observe some of the other games and platformers and how they've evolved over Imagine time, trying to speed run this totally back. You're totally right. They've gone to a place God, where they're a little bit more a, open in nature. A blast with this thing because there's so many the different ways you can do this game. Look at this upside down gameplay. It's a little bit more sparse and spread out. It encourages exploration. And maybe there's a little bit more focus on... So, I know some people combat, saying it's possibly but open world, but I don't see open world. I see just gameplay. Kind of what they're saying, a lot more. And it's focused. A lot more chances to kind really, of work around the, the space. Streams of hazards and the challenges, the platforming challenges, they come and there. There's almost a rhythmic quality to it, and how reliable it is. And I know that for me, when I learn a level and I understand the nuance of the timing and the placement of all the different hazards. You can enter into uh, a sort of flow state uh, when you understand that kind of musicality. Multiple playable characters. Uh, how are you doing that? Is it kind of like by level or how, like we saw Coco and Neo playable in there. How, how does that work sort of in the scheme of the, the gameplay? So Crash and Coco, you're going to be able to choose between them at any point in time. And they yep. share the same moveset. Okay, so like Insane Trilogy. Over the course of the adventure, you're going to encounter some new friends, some familiar faces. And um, you're right, there, there's going to be some new playable characters we're teasing oh, yeah. today. This is definitely Dr. a lot Neo more Cortex. expansive in terms of... different moveset from Crash and Coco. So where the Bandicoots kind of barrel through and they've got the ability to spin and slide and belly slam, Dr. Neo Cortex is um, he's a little bit more of a cerebral character. Uh, he's a mad scientist, he's got inventions, and he relies on his intellect. So he's got a ray gun that he carries around with him. And that hmm. ray gun has the ability to transmogrify hazards and enemies into platforms. And he can choose between changing them into a static solid platform or a bouncy platform that gives him access to higher elevations. So his gameplay and the levels that are built specifically for his moveset is going to be a completely different flavor. It's going to be a little bit more strategic, a little bit more cerebral. And I think players are going to have to be a little bit more thoughtful about huh. um, when to encounter a hazard, whether or not to trans to change it into a platform, and what type of platform they're, they're going to need at that point in the obstacle. Wow, it, it it seems ambitious that you're adding more elements to it, and then also you mentioned the the masks. How how do those work? So the quantum masks, there's four of them in this game, and over the course of the adventure, there's I know there was like a four mask situation as well in um, what do you call it? Certain the clutches of certain bosses, of cortex. That are familiar and new. Um, the quantum mask, two of them that we're talking about today, is the time mask and the gravity mask. And masks in this franchise, they've got a lot of personality. They've got their own names and their own voices and their own powers. So the time mask, her name is Kapunawa. Hmm. And when Crash um, uses Kapunawa, he's got the ability to slow down time to a crawl. So for obstacles that time are beyond mask. Okay. just way too fast to interface with at normal speeds, he's going to be able to slow things down and then get past those obstacles. And in addition to that, he'll be able to get past nitro crates, which have traditionally been a one-hit, one-kill yep. type of thing. But with the power of time, he's going to be able to slow things down trigger that explosive and then get out just barely before that explosion obliterates everything in its path. I'd have the, to see um, how that reacts. The second mask is the gravity mask and his name is Ika Ika. So when Crash dawns on Ika Ika, he's going to be able to flip 
the direction of gravity and walk on the top of ceilings, um, walk upside down oh, underneath platforms this. to get past impossible This looks insane. Uh, Everything really about this just screams like this. insanity. Yeah, I was playing Crash back when the original LOL, PlayStation in. first came out. Um, and you, you know, Activision has done a great job with the remasters, but to uh, have a totally new game. Wow, look at the grinding. Before, like you have like uh, grinding, like Ratchet and Clank, so, but you can uh, like... Congrats for doing this, and, and thanks for doing it even from a work from home situation. Uh, it's uh, it's awesome to see, and can't wait to uh, get to play it later this year. Thanks for having me. It's a great pleasure, and uh, I think it's an exciting time for games. And I'm so glad that we oh, could yeah, for sure. um, reintroduce Crash, a new version um, and a new adventure um, at this time. Oh.